For the past few years, Twitch has been dying. And recently, they announced new changes to their website, such as exclusive streamers and revenue splits. That makes me believe Twitch are going to shut down their website in the next year or two. But that's my opinion. The real question is, is Twitch worth streaming on? in 2022. I spent the last week over on a brand new channel streaming every day to find that answer for you guys. So this is it, my opinion on Twitch in 2022. From YouTube's analytics, only a very small amount of you guys are actually subscribed to this channel. So if you end up liking the video, consider subscribing. It's free. And if you end up hating me in two weeks time, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you. I gained 10 followers for the week on Twitch. I streamed Fortnite and Minecraft for my oversaturated games and Wii Sports and Fall Guys for my games in categories under 5,000 views. Fall Guys and Wii Sports was my most successful streams for gaining followers. Obviously, if you stream a game with less viewers, your stream more than likely will be clicked on because the community in that category will end up clicking onto your video after a while to check you out. So I gained like two to three followers per stream while I was streaming Fall Guys and Wii Sports. I gained 50 viewers in total for the week and I peaked at five concurrent viewers on one stream. Minecraft was my most successful stream when it came to viewers. Obviously because Minecraft is such a fun game and people can click onto your streams at any given time, because, well, they want to check out your buildings, they want to see how far you're along in the game, and they just want to see, are you like a Minecraft vibe kind of um, streamer, or are you just like a serious streamer? People love Minecraft, people will always view Minecraft. So after the week, I had an average viewer rate of 2.4, which is amazing for a brand new channel. You need an average viewer rate of 3 to be accepted into the affiliate program on top of 50 followers and 8 streaming days. So having 2.4 viewers at the end of the week on your first week is pretty good. That was my week on Twitch. Even though I thought it was a very successful week, I actually don't believe Twitch is worth streaming on in 2022. And here's why. All the changes Twitch are making. It feels like they're making all these changes just so they can squeeze as much money out of you guys and out of streamers as possible. Until they call it quits. All the streamers that are getting banned for no reason. And how unfair they are at banning people. Two streamers could pull the exact same crime, but one could get a weak expansion and the other one a lifetime ban. Plus, hate raids, sexism, racism, they really don't stop anything happening on Twitch. So many top streamers are actually leaving Twitch to go stream on other platforms. And I know you might be thinking, if the top streamers are leaving, that means less competition for you and you could end up growing and becoming the next top streamer on Twitch if all of them leave. Which, yeah, could happen. But they aren't leaving for no reason. They are leaving Twitch because they know for a fact Twitch is dying. Of course, a massive one. Twitch is owned by Amazon. Amazon bought Twitch for 800 million. And ever since, it's been losing Amazon money. As we know, Amazon is a business. Business makes money. They don't lose money. If things don't change with Twitch and Twitch don't end up making Amazon money, they will pull the plug, just like Microsoft did with Mixer. And here's what I think you guys should do. If you want to become a streamer in 2022, you're going to need to make different kinds of content on other platforms to help you grow. Streaming is a massive industry now. You're going to need to put in a lot of effort to get people onto your streams. You cannot just rely on your streaming platform to help you grow. There's no such thing as a day off when it comes to streaming. It is 7 days a week, 365 days a year. I'm sorry to tell you that, but you're going to need to put in that effort. Especially when you're a new streamer. Make a YouTube channel. Upload different kinds of content onto that channel. Start a shorts channel. Will you upload stream clips onto it? You can do the same on TikTok. Just make sure you make original content on both of them, just so you have a better chance of going viral. Now, you can pick whatever platform you want to stream on in 2022. It does not matter. You just need to learn everything about the platform you're using. 
this will help you in the long run. Trovo has an amazing community behind it. They help young streamers grow. That is their entire thing. They have new streaming categories and everything about it. They want people to grow on their website. YouTube, after you get over the whole OBS settings, is an amazing website to stream from. After a while and after they see you consistently streaming, they will push your content to people they genuinely believe will like it and click on it. On Twitch, the OGs, everyone that likes watching a live stream pretty much has a Twitch account. They have everything over there. Twitch is the OG. They're around donkey's ears. So of course they know everything about streaming. Doesn't matter what platform you pick lads, as long as you put the effort in, you will grow. I personally believe Twitch is going to die by the end of 2023. So if you do end up picking Twitch as your streaming platform, please make sure you make other kinds of content on other platforms. Just in case Twitch dies, you don't die with it.